<laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked. Hey, Strawberry Kiss. Hi. What's that noise? Huh? I have no idea. Hmm. It can't be the floor. Cheeky. Apple Blossom? Huh? Where has she gone? <laughs> Check you later! Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, gang! The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today! I forgot to tell her about the power! Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. Eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon! I have an idea! Follow me! Oh! with the ingredients you've got. Susie, grab as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody. Get your ice cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens next. We could even finish the season. Check you later. <laughs> for the opening ceremony, and you are not helping. Relax. I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's like... 
I kind of weird. Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the toy store, sports store, music store, tech town, fashion boutique, and the small mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event: Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now for Team Sport. Roll the roller blades simultaneously, taking out the gold medal in both the water fan and diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> So what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable, but I'm still not happy about this. Hi, everyone. I've just cooked up some super cute fun. Come watch my latest Happy Places vlog. Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they rock Linspring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lin falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching their next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes long to go! Sorry, Cheeky, I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. 
Hey, you benched me! It's for the good of the team, Toasty! It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mart currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Like, totally check my vlog. Go on. You'll love what I've done with my room. my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, hey! No fraternizing with the competition! Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long-distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? chosen to combine their members, the Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay underway! On your marks, get set. 
is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks. Get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, with Bone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams! <gasps> what an amazing end to the games! Check you later! Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch! <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office! Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's in an extremely important meeting. meeting. We need her help. It's about the small marsh. <gasps> with me. Apple, tell me exactly what happened. Well, we binge watched the spatula and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, Give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes. it. Yes. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> Toasty, we're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it! Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook?
this smoke? Guys, we're all still learning to cook, so we need to support each other. Hmm, I think it might need a little more sugar. Come on, guys, it's Halloween. Let's take a break and go trick or treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They love those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. <laughs> See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... <laughs> nope, they've already left. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick-or-treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that... Fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy. But I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. Is something burning? taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. Uh-oh, photos first. Then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys, my cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? How 
is it, everyone? It's incredible! Yeah, the turkey is a little dry. Well, maybe your opinion would count if you helped out in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp! You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Like food fight. Stop! No! Oh, oh, oh! I've been hit! I've been hit! Oh, no! What the fuck? I do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the Shopkins gave to me twelve aisles of shopping, eleven checkouts checking, ten stockings filling, nine baubles twinkling, <laughs> eight Shopkins milking, seven shelves of candy, six racks of clothing, five broken Shopkins. Shopkins, Shopkins. <laughs> Not far to the top, cheeky. Good. It's a long way down. You guys can do it. Just don't do anything silly. What did Strawberry say? She said to do something silly. Okay. Hey -ya! Woo! Oh, woo! Woo! Yeah! What are you doing? I said don't be silly. Oh, sorry. Oh, I can't go on. We couldn't pass this anyway. We're stuck high up a mountain. So cold. So tired. I'm so tired I'm hearing things. No, I I heard it too. What is it? In the sky, is that kooky? Um, why are you crawling along the freezer? The three of us have been climbing a mountain! Three? Uh, where's Strawberry Kiss? Oh, oh, so, so cold! Check you later! Under? Nope, something even cooler. I'm gonna karate chop them. Okay, that is cooler. Um, wouldn't it be better to start at one and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. Hi -ya! Uh, are you okay? Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. Hiya! Ow! All good. 
Hiya! Uh, ouchie! Hiya! Oh. And that one so had to hurt. Hiya! Ow, ow, ouchie! Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master! Hiya! Wow, she really did it! Wow! Hiya! 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 Ow! I am never doing that again. Check you later. Report. Shopville is in chaos after a major traffic accident. We go to Cheeky Chocolate with more. Chaos indeed, Apple Blossom. Some presumed maniacs spilt over a defenseless shopping basket. It is still unknown who or what caused this tragedy, but we'll be keeping our eyes open for this shop villain. And now, live from the freezer, it's Kooky Cookie with the weather. Cold. Thank you, Kooky, for that descriptive report. We now go live to Strawberry Kiss, who is about to report something amazing. What? Me? Um, amazing? Yep. But I didn't prepare anything. Our audience is waiting. <laughs> amazing! Strawberry Kiss can cry strawberry jam tears. Who knew? And now, a word from our sponsors. New Cheesy Cheese, now available in pink. Not actually available in pink. <laughs> Check, Check you later. later. Presented by our mystery guest. Let's meet the contestants. First up, Strawberry Kiss. This sweet treat miss hails from the fruit aisle and is a favorite for this year's Miss Shopville. Up next is Cookie Cookie. This surprise entry takes the place of spilt milk after a tragic fruit picking accident. Let's wish her a speedy recovery. Now to our first event, the fashion show. Strawberry Kiss is looking fabulously fruity in her large Louis Descon hat. How will Kooky follow this up? What showmanship! This could win her big points. On to the question round. If you had one wish in the world, what would it be? I wish I could meet Katy Berry. She's amazing. Who wouldn't? Now, Kooky, what would you wish for? Peace. World peace. How selfless. And with that, I think we have our winner. The tiara will be presented by last year's Miss Shopville. Cupcake Queen. Congratulations, Kooky, on winning this year's pageant. Oh, peace. Thank you, Kooky. Here, you deserve this. Check you later.
Coochie coo. Look, she smiled. So cute. It looks like we're running out of baby supplies. Toasty Pop, would you watch Dummy Me while we go get some more? Does toast burn? That means yes. Oh. Okay then, be good, Mimi. Who wants a poopsie change? What? <laughs> uh, oh no! You! The door isn't safe for babies. Ow! Oh no! <laughs> How in all things toasty did she get up there? Here we go. All safe. You really shouldn't be. Oh no. <laughs> Burnt bagels and muffins! I insist you stop this nonsense! <laughs> oh, crumbs! I'm sorry, don't cry! Something I said? Catch you later! Lippy, you're as beautiful as fresh toast, with lips as red as um, beetroots. <laughs> Will you be mine? Say you'll be mine. No way. Cookie or cookie. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Could I be losing my charms? Oopsie. Ah! Bonjour, mon chéri. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? I'm not hungry. But Beller, I can feel it in the air. All of the signs are pointing to you and I together. You feel it too, eh? No, this needs to stop. I agree. He doesn't look like he'll give up anytime soon. Uh, what if we ask him out? What? No, she's right and I've got just the plan. So, are you going to tell us this plan? Oh, right. Well, you go over this way and then we go around. Where are all of my beauties gone? My little toasty snookums. Won't you sing for me again? Why, well, hello there, my sweetie. I knew you could not resist these charms. No, me. Mwah, mwah, ah. mwah. Doughy bear. He's mine. He's mine. No, he's, no, mine. he's mine. mine. No, mine. Mine. He's mine. Down. Oh, no. I must flee before their love for moi destroys us all. Au revoir, my love. <laughs> Check you later. <laughs> Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first Shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car! <laughs> if we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her! That car is as good as mine! Cheeky, to your mark! Ready? Go, Shopkins! Kooky, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh. Okay. Well, good luck! With us working together, we should double the chance of winning! Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze! Yo, yeah, mon chéri! I will not let you escape me! Nothing can distract my keen senses of... Sacre bleu! Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? Oh. <laughs> I've so got this car! But just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot! That cheeky! Where could she be? Hmm. Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> Cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line. Cookie ball! I was wrong. You win, Cookie! Pick your prize! Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Welcome, Shopkins. 
shoppers to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanest Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! B -b -b burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced shoppist dummy me diaper wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to <laughs> fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin. He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero? Kind of sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... Ah! And when I opened my eyes, I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs. That was close. He saved you, too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin, too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. Oh, 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 you saved me. Thank you so much. Wait, who are you? How do I get down? I was stuck up there for a whole day. Too bad you didn't see who it was. I'd really like to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way. Check you later. Doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close? They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picnic, a land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat. Unsuspecting shopping. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There is no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no! Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on, guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, yes! Uh, hello? Check you later.
Are you recording? Oh. Oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you! So much has happened in the last few days! We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday! Oh, um, hi! <laughs> and we have moved to the most food-tastic place ever! Shopville! We just love it here! Some of us more than others. Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, uh, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. What are you supposed to be? I'm Toasty Pop. I didn't ask who you are. I asked what you are. A toaster? Hmm. Toaster. Ta -da! Ah! My eyes! Oh no! What did you do? I'm so, so sorry. You! You amazing creature! You shall be my next muse! You're what? She what? I can just see it now. My new muse. You, Miss Toasty, shall be a star. Your face on all the magazine covers around the world. You'll be famous, darling. No, thanks. No? I know I'm pretty awesome, but I'm awesome just the way I am. Maybe ask Lippy. Ah! Maybe not. Very well, darlings. I'm off. Toasty, if you ever change your mind, be sure to contact me. Ta-da! I won't. If you like, I'll tell everyone it was you who turned her down and not me. Thank you. Check you later, darlings. Rose. Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh my! I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! Nor have I. Come to me, Bella. We must be together. Look at this dress. It's so beautiful. Sacre bleu! What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh... Uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the date. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mm, Cherry, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm, must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie, let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie bye. Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. 
check you later. When the clouds over Shopville start to crumble and tear, that can only mean one thing. Halloween is in the air. Spiders spin their webs, creepy, crawly, and spooky. And the full moon in Shopville makes everyone act a little kooky. And the jack-o'-lanterns glow to life with fire in their eyes. Ghouls and ghosts sneak up on you and boo you with surprise. Black hats cross your path. Bats swoop down from the night. Witches ride on broomsticks and cackle with delight. The clock strikes twelve. The scream cries out. Something's crawling on your head. There's nowhere you can hide from the terrors outside. Not even in your bed. Long shadows will make you jump as you peer across the street. And a shopkin will come a knockin'. It's time for trick or treat. Happy Halloween from the Shopkins. <laughs> on the track for our three competitors. Toasty Pop, Cheeky Chocolate, and Strawberry Kiss. Who do you think is going to bring home the championship title? Eh. Uh. You're absolutely right, Kooky. Who knows who will win? It could be anyone's race. And we're off! Strawberry Kiss pulling ahead with an early lead. Follow closely by Cheeky and Toasty as we enter Shopville. Now that's how you burn rubber. It looks like we have a slip on the track. No, 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 no! Oh no, there's another one! Oh. Cheeky Chocolate moves into first place. What a race! Whoa! Looks like we need to clean up in aisle three. What an amazing display of skill as our racers enter the final stretch. Cheeky and third place goes to Strawberry Kiss. Ah, uh, when she finishes. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. What a beautiful morning it is. wasn't the adventurous camping trip I had in mind. Yeah, why are we here, Lippy? Shady Diva is back in Shopville unveiling her new hat collection. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Guys, can you at least try to not embarrass me this time? Hello, <sighs> darlings. Dusty, you beautiful creature, is that you? Why on earth are you waiting in this line? Come, my darling. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, it is far too bright outside to be judging your friends. Come, all of you, quickly. I am so glad you are here, darling. You are the inspiration behind my latest creation. Don't I look fad? Ah! Toast! Ah! They're everywhere! Uh, Toasty, that's just your reflection. Oh, so, my darling, will you change your mind and travel the world with me? You'll get all the free clothes you could ever want. No thanks. I'm already wearing the real thing. What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Check you later. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? 
Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? I'll get it. And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature. Ah! Uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed. What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical. It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Phew! Oh, oh, oh. And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. Huh. Like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> Check you later. to track down Milk Bud via satellite. I just need to pinpoint our coordinates. I could use some help. Are any of you good with computers? I know how to do a smiley face emoticon. Never mind, we're just about there. Ah, this always happens to me when I'm about to do something really important. Hey, Mel T, helping my new friends find their dog, BRB. Can you hear me now, Tosti? Oh, maybe my phone's broken. Oh, oh no! no! I'm really sorry, guys. We should go check if Apple's okay. Lola, are you all right? I'm fine. The bush broke my fall. Seems like the greenery is saving a load of Shopkins today. How about you, Apple? You okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, it's not that. I was chasing after my dog, Milk Bud, and now he's gone, and I don't think I'll ever find him. Oh, no. I'm so, so sorry. I just miss the way he likes to be scratched behind his ears. I miss taking him out for walks. And I miss playing fetch with him. Playing fetch, huh? Yeah, he loved it, but we lost his ball, and... Now we've lost him. <laughs> well, if I were a dog who loved playing fetch and I lost my ball, I know where I'd go. Let's go, gang. We've got a furry friend to find. This moment calls for a celebratory game of fetch. Who's in? Yeah, I I know. Know. Yeah. 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 That. Go along, milk bud. Ugh. Oh no! I think we'll just buy another ball. Check you later. Milk Bud. Who's next? Pick yeah, me. over oh, here. Pick me. Over here. What about you, Lippy? You haven't had a turn yet. Uh, fine. I guess one throw won't hurt. Uh, uh. Huh. 
I was wrong. That did hurt. My ego. Oh, come on, Lippy. Anyone can throw a ball. You just need to put some power behind it. Watch. No fun! He, he went, went that way. way! Are you, like, sure you know where you're going? Don't worry. Cheeky's great at navigating. She'll get us back. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't worry. Apple knows this place like the back of her hand. She'll get us home. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It begins. Cheeky, I... I don't know if I can go on any further. It's been 23 minutes, Lippy. How am I going to survive the entire night? I don't have my evening shade lip gloss. <gasps> I'll have to change my name to Lippy Chapped Lips. Relax, Lippy. This shelter will protect us from the elements. This is it? Where's the extra closet space for all of my shoes? You don't have any extra shoes with you. Should we try and find a hotel? Nothing below four stars. Milk bud! Milk bud! Milk bud? Slick, what are you doing here? Uh, Mon chérie, uh, please help. I went for a jog in the park, but alas, I have lost my way home. Really? Milkbud has gone missing. We got lost looking for him, too. This is terrible. I adore Milkbud. Oh, I am so sorry, mon chéri, but I must find some water quickly. <laughs> hey, there's a small pond over here. Ladies, wait. Oh, thank goodness. I hadn't seen my reflection in over an hour. Be well, ladies. I must venture to find our four-legged friend. <laughs> Look, one of Milkbud's paw prints. Maybe we should stay here in case he comes back. <sighs> You're right. We can try again in the morning when there's more sunlight. Maybe we should get some rest. I'm like, oh, way too scared to sleep. <laughs> we'll be fine. Susie, did you look at this paw print properly? Uh-huh. Why is that? Susie, I don't think this belongs to Milkbud. Thank <laughs> you. 
OMG, so many rings! Hey, I'm like trying my hardest to find it. I think she's talking about the jewelry, Susie. Oh, those rings. So, uh, you gonna answer that? Oh yeah, that ring. Hey, Toasty. Oh, we're out searching for milk bed. I can't contain my excitement any longer. I have to browse. <laughs> Shop till you drop, Lippy. Yup. Too much bling. I'm falling. Ugh. Worth it. Hey, guys, check this out. Ooh, a charm machine. I'd love to be more charming. I'm not sure that's what it does, Cheeky. Do you think I'll get a fancy accent like yours, Lippy? Hello, I'm Charmin Chocolate. Ah, uh, guys, I'm not sure about this. So, do I sound charming? How's the small mart going? Toasty, are you there? You're breaking up. Ugh, it's so frustrating when somebody can't hear you. Hey, Susie! Hello! Hey! Hey! Susie! Toasty, I can't hear you. Hello? OMG! <laughs> How cute is this? Toasty, I'm gonna try to get better reception outside. There's a slight chance I was wrong about the charm machine. You think? What are we going to do now? Hey, guys! The Tech Tower is only a short distance from here. Maybe there's a gadget there that could return us to our normal size. There it is, up ahead! from Connie Console. Time to supersize some Shopkins. Ready, gang? Ready! Ready. Thank you so much, Connie. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no. My voice won't go back to normal. 